Hi, welcome to my channel, Crafting a Country Life. I'm coming on today with a Saturday morning makes that I'd like to post, um, hosted by Jill Norwood. And what I've created this week, um, using these Dollar Tree chalkboard tag clothespins that come in a package of four. Um, and what I did was I turned them into little Halloween clips using uh, cardstock, washi tape, and some little bits of satin bow, satin uh, flowers and t tulle um, and some puffy stickers and Nouveau drops. And this is the first one. And I kind of went with a pastelloween theme on these. Here's the second one. I'll show you the paper pads in just a minute. Hopefully that is being picked up by the camera. There we go. Okay, and then the last one here. So I've done three of them so far. I'd like to make some more, but these, this is what I've got done so far. And here's this one here with a kind of a mint colored background. So they're just painted front and back. And then I just added my goodies on top. So what I used was the, this is an older collection uh, that I had gotten at Michael's called Pinkaboo and it has the pastel colors for Halloween. So I've used that one. And I also used a little bit of the 31 collection by Prima that just came out recently. And then I received from Joann's um, the 2021 version of Halloween Party, this paper pad here. And this has sort of um, warmer tones in it. You know, it has the pastel coral, the pink, which and the pink is more on the, the warm side. So I used some of this in the collection as well, from the collection as well. Whereas the... Um, this Pinkaboo collection has more of a, on the cool, the tones are on the cool side. Um, and the thing that I really liked about this pad was not only that it had some warm tones in it, but it had a little bit of mustard. You can see some of the colorations there. There's a little bit of mustard. And as I was browsing online, Joann's was having their, one of their sales and I wanted to get free shipping, so I needed to, you know, use a certain amount or spend a certain amount of money. And I was browsing around at some other paper collections to see what might coordinate because I don't know how, how it is for other folks, but I have trouble finding collections that are past in the pastelloween colors. They're very limited and being able to find them is not always easy. But I did find this paper pad called Mystical Magic by Park Lane and it coordinates beautifully with the DCWV Halloween party. It has some of the same colors. This pad is not necessarily Halloween, as the theme of it is, um, well, let me show you the papers in here. There are some mustard, some coral, a um, little bit of pink, there's a little bit of gray. I love this page with the the different strips of colors and text that you can cut out and add. But it has suns and moons on it, kind of a mystical, has kind of a mystical look to it. So these colors really coordinate beautifully with the other paper pad and they work well together. And because they both have warm tones in them, they match really nicely. So those are the um, paper pads that I used. And you look really closely. I know these are really tiny. This little puffy sticker here is from the puffy sticker set that goes with um, 31 collection by Prima. These puffy stickers are very tiny and I really needed <laughs> small stickers to fit onto the, the tiny little embellishment here. These little spiders I had picked up at Michael's a few years ago, they came in a bag of, oh, I don't know, 50 or 75 or some something, but they're very tiny and flexible. So I had to glue those on with the Beacon 3-in-1 glue. And these a tiny little satin bow here. These are so much fun to make. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed 
creating these. And then I had a um, package of stickers from last year that I had picked up at Target. And these are tiny little ghosts and they have a little bit of orange and a little bit of uh, like pale pink and purple. It's probably a little bit difficult to tell through the packaging there, but I did use one of those ghosts for this, um, for this one here. Yeah. So that is my project share for Saturday Morning Makes. I hope you enjoyed seeing this and hopefully got some inspiration for some projects of your own. Um, as I say, I'm going to be creating a few more of these in the next couple of days. And I'd also like to try some of them in a more traditional colorway as well, using the blacks and the oranges. And I also have a collection, I think it's from Cartabella, that is sort of a, a like a vintage Halloween theme to it. So once I get some of those put together, I'll, I'll put them back on to share another time. Thanks for joining me today. Bye for now.